Hello, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back if you're back and welcome if it's your first time. Um, my name is Rabbit, I use they them pronouns and today I wanted to do another lookbook video. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more like cottagecore and punk because um, I used to dress really like cottagecore and hippie but now I wear a lot more punk clothes and I thought it would be fun to mix the two because that's kind of what I do in my everyday. Um, so to begin, this is my first look. Here is a full view of it. I hope you can see everything. Um, so to start like with the head and then to go down. Okay, uh, so to start I have these like moon earrings and then this like dragon earring. Um, and I have this like leaf ring on and this little like bracelet that has moons and stars on it. I have this Labradorite necklace um, that uh, has a bunch of wire wrapping on it and this choker that I got from Wish. My um, collar has like a little pin on it that has a matcha cat, which is fun. I'm wearing this uh, flannel that I have kind of modified myself. I originally got it on Depop and I put this patch on it. It says Camping Club, it's from Moko Yubi. This is a patch that used to be a bed sheet. This is an old dress. This is a doily. This is just a piece of felt. Repeated on this side. This is part of the t-shirt on the back. And this is a patch I printed from Phoebe Wall, um, one of my favorite artists. Um, so you can also wear this without the flannel, like this. I have this little like kind of crop top bralette that I got from the thrift store. Oh, I'm stuck. So you could do this look with just like a little bralette thing and like tie the flannel around the waist or do no flannel, it's up to you. The other option I like to do with this, especially when it's like a little bit colder, is I'll actually tuck the flannel in. So tucked in, this can be a really good look. So I got these pants from my mom. They were hers when she worked um, at Gucci in like the 70s and 80s. She worked in the advertising department, so I mean, Gucci sucks, but these pants are cool, so that's fun. They're kind of like dad pants, I like to think of them as. And they don't have a belt loops, any belt loops, but I just wear this belt over top of it because I think it kind of helps give a little bit more mask energy to their look. And I hemmed the pants, and I'm wearing them with my Doc Martens that have cherry striped shoelaces that are pink. So that's fun, and I have a scrunchie in my hair. So that's the first look. Cool. So this next outfit is very um, patchy and layered and involves a lot of cool colors like purples and greens. Um, so to start with the top, I'm wearing some like skeleton hand earrings that were at the grocery store during Halloween. Um, I have a little key earring that's just an old key that doesn't work. Um, lock necklace from an old lock that doesn't work cool crystal necklace bunch of rings this one's a snake this one's a moon this one's just a band and that one's like a moonstone um i have one pin that says 100 percent angel that's really cute this one is pm press and this is a troll doll button then i have a ton on my jacket that i'm probably not even going to go into because it's too many but um I might do a video on this jacket if like that's a thing that people are interested in. Bleached the bottom of it and got it at the thrift store and sewed it a bunch. Um, so in terms of the outfit outfit, I've got um, this like sheer top that's um, like a moon sun pattern with like moths on it from the thrift store. Ooh, charm bracelet and little Hello Kitty and other bracelets. So that's fun. The charm bracelets from when I was a kid. Um, this dress is just like a big patchwork dress. Um, this is cool belt from Hot Topic, weirdly. Uh, I mean, not weirdly. That's like a very popular brand. Under my skirt, I'm wearing like an apron with like a bit of a frill layer to give it um, like a little bit of a lace like under thing. And I've got ripped fishnets and um, stripey sock and like purple sock with a wolf on it and my just good old goth boots 
So that's this outfit. Also this apron has, or this dress has a pocket. I don't know if like I showed that, but yeah, how cool is that? So that's this look. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this is the next look. It's probably the most cottage core that is going to be in this video. Um, and I really like it. Um, I don't really wear it anymore, but this is like a hang over, leftover from when I used to wear like green all the time. Like, I don't know. I kind of have phases where I only wear one color right now. It's pink. Back then it was green. So to begin, we will start with the jewelry. So I have these like little... What am I even wearing? Oh yeah, these little bats, these little stars, and then little like plants and flowers on both sides. I have um, this like kind of zipper and safety pin necklace. Um, my locket that my boyfriend gave me. Um, this is just like a bunch of really cool different um, charms on one necklace. I've got this like cool fairy cameo looking thing and a crow skull, bird skull. This is like such a cool little vest that I found at the thrift store. Of course in the children's section because the children's section has the best stuff. And it's just like so cute and so cottage core. And I bought it knowing that I wouldn't really like wear it like for a while, but I cycle through styles and like cottage core is what I like. So, you know. Next is my backpack that I just want to really quickly touch on. It's cute. I put a bunch of patches on it. Um, one of my favorites that I'm going to show you guys real quick is this one that my boyfriend painted me. It has like a rabbit on it. Because, um, you know, that's my name and my favorite animal. Um, so that's really cool. And um, this dress, basically, um, I got it for $2 at this kind of flea market situation. And it was originally full length and like very damaged on the bottom. So I actually just cut it off at a size that I felt, or at a length that I felt was more like pleasing to me. And then I put a bunch of, oh yeah, I think I like put panels in. And then I put um, a bunch of lace in the bottom to kind of like give it like a fluffy, cool look. Then I'm of course wearing my ripped fishnet still and my bee socks and Doc Martens with cherry shoelaces. I could also wear this without um, the vest, but I think the vest gives it like a very, very farm slash cottage core feel, and I like it. So that's that. I totally forgot, I'm also wearing a really cool mushroom in my hair, and it came from the garden section of the dollar store that I go to, and I think it is so cool. Like, it was just a little clip on, and I was like, well, I could put that in my hair. So I did, and also I'm wearing a ribbon in my hair that has like frogs. They're just holding umbrellas, but it's awesome. Um, this next look is very like yellow and fun because I really like the color yellow and I feel like I don't get to wear it enough. So that's this one. Um, I have some like moon earrings and a little moon in the fair moon fairy earrings. So that's really cool. They're like mismatched, but like still kind of matched. Like a little spiky bracelet. A wrapped piece of ginseng that I just like wrapped because I liked it. I have um, a brass locket, some bee theme necklaces, and um, like kind of a spades hearts kind of moment necklace. Um, this, okay, I'm wearing a ton of pins on my apron, because I think aprons are like a really cute look. We don't get to wear them enough out and about, so I would like to bring that back. So please do it if you would like. Um, I'm also wearing like a bunch of like layered socks and leg warmers, which I think is another look that we should collectively bring back. I currently am bringing it back by myself, but please join. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a little like dollar store um, hair piece that is a star, a yellow star. I'm going to show you guys really quickly this dress. Because I did sew a bunch of like patches onto kind of like these dresses. The style was like popular a couple of years ago. I was really into it, so I bought a bunch of them and like put a ton of patches on them and used them to make patches for others of their similar style. And I really like it, but I also like wearing them with an apron. So that's what that is. And yeah, great look. It also came with this is a sweater that is my boyfriend's, but he doesn't wear it anymore. 
So now I wear it. Like, an apron and a sweater can look really cute too. Okay, so for this next look, I have added a little, like, Hello Kitty band-aid to my nose because I've seen people do it, think it's super cute, like putting band-aids on their nose. I'm doing it for this look. So, uh, that's what that is. Um, it's basically, this is like, I love this dress. This is a dress that I found at a thrift store that I used to volunteer at, um, in Squamish. And it's like, just such a cool vintage dress. Very floral, very lacy. I'm wearing it with my pentagram, oops, can you even see those? Yeah, my pentagram socks and these like platform boots, platform shoes and um, this jacket that belongs to my boyfriend, but he doesn't really wear it, so I wear it a lot more than him. Uh, I'm wearing some geode necklaces with a locket and a rainbow necklace. I have like a spiked collar choker on, some little um, spider webs in my ears, and a little heart um, earring. So that's what that look is. It's also really cute with like this tied around the waist, I'm wearing like some little like from the kids section of the dollar store bracelets and a pink mushroom in my hair like the last outfit. So that's what that is. I like it. I think it's a good look. So this is the final outfit. I am still wearing my nose band-aid because I still think it's super cute. Um, I also have these like pom-poms in my hair that are from the dollar store. They're just like little hair ties. Super cool. As well as these from the dollar store that are little um, star things. I think you could easily make them yourself. Don't know why I don't make myself more hair accessories. I definitely will in the future. Um, so I'm wearing a lock necklace, little Aquarius necklace, necklace with my cat's names printed on it, and um, a little like cherry blossom in a circle necklace. Um, I'm wearing a pink apron that I think is so cool, it's like a full body apron. Underneath I have like a little ba black velvet dress. I'm wearing some tights that I got at Halloween that have like pentagrams and stuff on them. And under those tights I am wearing capped socks that are pink and have some cartoon cats that are very adorable. I found them at the thrift store. I don't know why someone would get rid of such cute socks, but I love them. And lastly I have my goth boots, as always. Not as always, but as usual. Maybe. Okay, I'm wearing this really cool like cat collar choker thing. It is a pink glitter cat collar that I got at the dollar store and then I put like a little troll doll charm on it so like that's so cool. I'm also wearing like a little troll doll pin because trolls are great and I have lots of pins of them so why not exploit that? <laughs> and um, the last thing I'm wearing is like a super fuzzy like dusty rose pink sweater that I got on Wish. It has cat ears you guys cat ears for me to be like a cat babe, like a cat girl, but a cat and be, you know? It's great. I love this. So, okay. Anyway, that's the last look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today and I hope the quality was better and that um, you guys could see stuff and that the audio was okay. I um, really appreciate you for watching till the end. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking it out. And as usual, clothes don't have any gender or age requirements or like body size requirements. So please just wear whatever you want and whatever makes you happy and I promise you'll look super cool. So again, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye!